Hello and welcome back to Tech It. Last time we died a lot and uh, didn't get too much done, but we did get our two buckets of lava, which is good. So we're going to be working on our cobblestone generator today, and for that, obviously, we'll need some water. So we need to get some more buckets. Oops, there we go. So I'll go and fill these up with water and then we can move on to the next step. Plenty of water here at least, don't have to go far for that. Okay, so for this we're going to need a machine called a block breaker, which is this. And for that you need, uh, oops, a daisy, you need a piston, an iron pick, some redstone and some cobblestone. So it's fairly simple to make. Very, very easy. I uh, just need iron and pistons. And we've got a bunch of pistons, so we're good. So I'm going to make two of them, because that's how much lava we have. Um, ideally, we'd have more, but two will do for now. And I'll collect some more lava um, when I'm feeling braver. Going to need some wood for sticks and I think it's all upstairs, so I'll grab some of that. Oh, here we go. Let's take half of that stack. Right. Um, need some more iron. And cobblestone. So, let's make some sticks and two iron picks. There we go. Just gonna grab some uh, redstone as well. Oops, let's take that. Uh, second iron pick, and we can build them. It's that easy. I think it was this, wasn't it? Let's see. Yes, cool. So we've got two block breakers. The next part we need is called. A redstone tube. And that's this, and it needs a pneumatic tube and a redstone, and the pneumatic tube needs brass, glass and brass, and the brass is made with tin and copper. So it's like bronze, but it's brass, because you smelt these things first. In the alloy furnace, so that's easy enough to do. Um, the pneumatic tubes are the Red Powers version of Buildcraft's um, pipes. Now, in most cases, uh, pneumatic tubes are actually better than Buildcraft tubes. Unlike Buildcraft tubes, if um, a chest gets full or if a macerator is full or whatever, the um, pneumatic tubes will not send stuff to it, so it won't overflow. Um, obviously, the, in Buildcraft, there's ways to get around that by using obsidian pipes and stuff, but uh, red power tubes. They are cleverer. They know what they're doing. Number two. So we've got four brass. So that's enough for a couple of tubes at least. So we put the brass either side of the glass and we get eight things for each one, so that's plenty for now. And we'll combine that with the redstone and we'll make 16 redstone pneumatic tubes. Now the thing about these is that they are the same as pneumatic tubes except they also carry a redstone current and which means you can kind of activate stuff as well as pipe stuff out of it with the same tube so you don't have to have like a current and a tube. It's very useful and um, we're also going to need a timer which is made with a stone wafer, two stone wafers, stone wire, and a stone pointer, and all these bits and pieces. And we should make a bunch of all of these, really. And um, you cook some stone for a wafer. And we go back like that. Um, a redstone for the wire. Uh, the pointer needs stone and a torch. Uh, the anode has like a triangle and three wafers. And. Cathode is a torch. Okay, so I'll see if I can remember all that. 
we'll make a bunch of these um, to stop this from macerating because it's going to bog up the furnace. Uh, we need to cook some cobblestone. Was it cobblestone? Uh, no, it was stone. We need to cook the stone and then cook it again. Of, of course, yeah, otherwise it would just make stone. <laughs> so we'll cook a bunch of that. And while, it, while that's cooking, we'll uh, just go and prepare our area. And I think I'm going to build it behind the house. Like here. And what we need is a hole. Uh, like this, I think. And we'll have it too wide because we need two. Let's just get this stuff. And we'll put the block breakers down in the middle. Oh, we need it three wide, of course. Oh, I, oh well, I don't know. I think I, I had it up three wide already. Um, this way is better. <laughs> and the block breakers go here and here. I'll just um, fill this bit in. I'm an idiot. And then we need the screwdriver. The screwdriver, which is in here, I think, and we also need a. No, that's it. That's it. It's all good. And the screwdriver is like the wrench, as I said before, so I can use it to change the direction of these things. If I just right-click on it until they face the bottom, like that, and then we'll place our tubes, like so, and we'll um. Yeah, like that. Okay, okay. So, let's see if our stone has cooked. A bunch of it has. So, we'll take that and we'll recook it to get our wafers. And I'm going to make some more pneumatic tubes using our brass. bunch of them. Cool. Just put some stuff back in here. Um, yeah. Yeah. And the emeralds can go back in their chest as well. Okay, so we've um, probably got a bit of stone now. We can start making these things. So we went with a couple with just redstone on top of them, I think. There are the wires. Three of them. And then there was um, one which is like three and kind of a triangle. Yep. Anodes. And then we wanted some torches, didn't we? So we need to make some redstone torches couple of them I think and then it was one of those and one of was that not, was that not right with a stone pointer oh it's normal stone okay got plenty of that left um, there we go and we've got two wafers left. I think that's all we needed, actually, wasn't it? Yeah, so we can probably build that recipe now. It's the pointer, the wafers, a wire. I didn't... I didn't build... An, oh, I did. There we go. And anodes and cathode. We get our timer. Now, the timer is like a clock. Um, but it's really easy because it's only one block. And you can set how quickly it spins so if I put it down to its minimum which is I think uh, 0.2 yeah so it spins really quickly and each time it spins around it sends a pulse so it's very cool and I need one rest in dust yes I've got that I've got the lava I've got the water I think we're ready to go I think we're ready to go so I'm gonna have to um, pipe this back somewhere uh, this chest is full, so we want another another big chest, really. Another crystal chest. 
or diamond chest. How did I make that again? <laughs> um, oh God. Okay, I think I remember. <laughs> so we wanted to, uh, was it refined iron? No, it can't have been. Eight iron, eight solar, three diamond, and some glass. I've uh, got loads of diamonds. Good. Um, and obviously a chest. Is this one empty? Yeah, which is this one. So, uh, we cover the chest in iron. Cover the iron chest in silver. And then it was three diamonds. And some glass. Hmm. Make a bit more glass. Glass can make a lot, isn't it? Oh, bugger. Let's just make some redstone. Because <laughs> it's. And then. There we go. Cool. Where did it go? Cool. And we'll put the diamond back in there. All that in there, and we'll put the glass back in here, and we'll finish our thing. So I think this was right. I <laughs> need one more. Yes. Now a diamond chest is probably good enough for now. Um, crystal. Was the crystal just surrounded in glass? I think it might have been actually. So I might as well just do that. Screw it. They are cool. I love them. Yeah, that's worth it. <laughs> right, so where is this going to go? Um, oh dear, I don't know. It's all going to be... I mean, if, actually, to be honest, I don't really need this. <laughs> but I'm going to put it down here, and we can use it for something else. But I think what I'm going to do is straight, just pump straight into the condenser. Um because that would make a lot more sense. Oops. <laughs> so I'll just pop the tubes in here. I think that... Oh. I don't want it to connect to that. Okay. We'll have to move it. Which means we'll have to move the wood. And we'll take it out of that way instead. Okay, that'll work. That'll work. Now we need to take the tube through here. Oh, it's going to look bad. Oh well. What's the best way to break it? Pickaxe, maybe? Yeah. God, why is that bloody grass in the way? Okay. Uh, I could run this underground later, maybe. That'd look a lot better. Um, in fact, in fact, I'll do it now because there's no time like the present. Ah, oh, hello. <laughs> oh, the weather. It's not a good day. Or a night. I assume it's night. Could be a really bad storm. It wasn't. Okay, so we're nearly there. We're nearly there. Um, just one more block to go. Actually, we'll go from here. There we go. These tubes are a little bit different to the Buildcraft tubes. They look slightly different. Um, I think they're actually kind of cool. And. Iron. You can jump out of stuff. That's, that's a plus in my books. <laughs> Just 
finish this off. Yay! Awesome. Now, we need to put down... Oh, I need one redstone. Ooh! That skeleton dropped a magical bow. Wow. I like that. Got loot from him. Bam. Ha ha ha. I'm happy with that, I am. Super happy. I'll put that in here. Now we need one redstone dust. Um, like so. And we have everything we need to start. Oh, it's a cobblestone generator. Oh! Get away from me! Bah! Ugh. Horrible night. <laughs> right. Oh, for God's sake. Whenever I start doing work, you bastards. Ah! Why did that explode? I knocked it back when I sprinted towards it. That's what happened. Oh, for God's sake. This is getting ridiculous. I'm getting swarmed. I don't have any food. Okay. Half a heart. Night time. Rain. I want to get this up and running. Let's do this. So we want to put the water down first because otherwise it would be a pain in the bum. And we'll just start by blocking this. And then the lava. That was that was just uncalled for. You had that coming, mate. You had that coming. Now I've got to go into this thing and delete the bloody death point. Right. Where was I before I was really interrupted? Lava. Okay. Now all I have to do is put down the clock. I'll set it to half a second ish, maybe a bit more. 0.7. And then we connect it up with the redstone. And here we go. It started... What's happening is that these things are breaking whatever block is under under them. And once it's broken, obviously the water and the lava pour back in, create cobblestone, which it then breaks instantly. And these pipes are carrying the redstone current to the, to the block breakers, which is why the time is doing. Any faster than that, and it wouldn't be the the um, lava wouldn't flow quick enough. I think I could try a bit faster. That's right. So this is just going to make infinite cobblestone forever, basically. The setup, and it will pump it into the condenser, which makes it into diamonds. Very nice. And also, I can expand this as much as I like. Um, or up to 16 blocks, I guess, because this thing. But I could just um, always put a, a second clock in if I need to. Or some more redstone, I don't know. Um, yeah, so that's it. That's our cobblestone generator. Pretty cool, eh? Pretty cool. This pipes will take it under the ground. Into my house. And into the condenser. Where it slowly turned into diamonds. Very nice. Now it's a bit slow at the moment, but that's because we don't have much of them. When we get a lot more of these things running, it's going gonna, gonna to create a lot more, and it will be a very good way to uh, get whatever we want, really. It's like energy collectors for um, equipment exchange, except for using red power. So yeah, hope you found that useful, and until next time, goodbye.